Testament, and God chooses them, and he's going to bless the world through them. But then Israel chooses to be their own God, ultimate God, and they have misguided passions and desires, and they sin against God, right? The idolatry is what it's called. And so Israel goes into exile. But then Jesus comes along through the Old Testament, right? It ends in Malachi and starts in Matthew. In that 400-year gap, they're longing for God to make a way in the wilderness. And so this promised Messiah, this hoped for Messiah would come, and Jesus did, right? So Jesus fulfills the story of the Old Testament. And this is, might be the new thing that you don't know. The story of Israel is the story of Jesus in the Gospel. You can track through uh, themes in the Gospel of Matthew, and you'd be like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of Genesis and Exodus and Leviticus. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's like the prophets and the Psalms. Oh my goodness, like Jesus is literally living the story of Israel for Israel. So one person, Jesus Christ, was living the story and fulfilling the hope that the people of Israel had. But then it shifts when Jesus dies on the cross and raises from the grave. Because now, it's not just about Israel that God wants to bless the world through. It expands to what the New Testament calls the Gentiles. They're just normal people like you and me unless you're, you're Jewish. Everyone else is Gentile. And so it expands. Jesus dies on the cross and raised from the grave, and then boom, it shifts to a whole new people group, meaning the whole world. So God's like pursuing you and me and all kinds of people to fill them with his spirit, with fresh life on the inside, and to go and bless others. But here's the deal. Now we live the story of Israel. So now if you read the Old Testament, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of my life. That reminds me of how, how many times I turn my back to God, how many times I fail to live up to his perfect standards, how many times I don't worship him as a true creator and I worship my own way and I worship my own desires. And you're like, oh my goodness, the cycle and the cyclical nature of Israel's sin pattern, that's the same thing that goes on in my broken heart. I'm in exile. But it's not Babylon, it's sin. And what did, what did Jesus do? He fulfilled the story for Israel and he fulfills, he fulfills the story for you. And so he delivers you from the exile of that broken heart. Delivers you from the exile of sin. 